but when you're in the studio writing and then the song takes another takes on a life of its own that you may or may not have intended you have any experience like that yeah man um what did she's meant to be for an example okay, like yeah. that was a big song that i had no idea was going to be a when we left that i mean let's just put it this way i it was the second ride of the day it was nighttime right we didn't yeah. even we weren't planning to write we were at dinner and got a phone call from our manager that was like hey uh charlie pooth we were supposed to write with charlie pooth actually yeah. and then it got canceled and then so then we were like all right we're not writing tonight and then bb somehow got a call hey bb rex is available to write would you guys want to write sure let's write and so that day <clears throat> yeah the same day or that night and then we were tired we didn't really know who bb rex was or what was, <laughs> the night was going to be like so we're walking back from dinner and <clears throat> back to the studio back to this yes yeah, sorry right, back yeah. to the studio um and and the title got taught. Haley, my wife, was walking with us, and I'm like, I don't know how this is going to go, whatever. She's like, oh, if it's meant to be, it'll be. It'll work out. So I said, well, that'll be the title. So I wrote that down, <laughs> and then I got in there, and uh, I meet BB, and it was me and Josh Miller and David Garcia. And uh, she thought I was Little Big Town. She didn't know who <laughs> good, she good, was. Good, good, good. Start. That's how it started. And then I didn't know, honestly, who she was. So we spent a minute or two getting to know each other and then uh, wrote Meant to Be, and like, a couple hours and then i just thought well it's a decent song yeah. like nothing great and uh she came by the next day said i really love this song i want to finish it and re-sing a couple things and then so i thought well that's cool she likes it enough to come back and yeah. and uh re-sing a couple things that's that's a good sign and then uh again just thought i had a cool mediocre song and she put it on her ep which was like six hip-hop songs and then meant to be yeah and it just took off, dude. And so she was like, "Hey, uh, yeah, we got." And one. she's like, "I didn't mean to be a. It looks like I'm going to be a country artist now. I don't have to, <laughs> oh, yeah, like, uh, all these hip hop songs are getting overshadowed by this, you know, simple country song that we wrote. But uh, wow, yeah, that song took on a life of its own, bro. And yeah. it was one of our biggest songs ever. And you just, you know, you just never. That's also why I love showing up to rights because you just never know, man. That sounds well. Does your? Let me ask you this." might be too personal but when you play that song live is your wife like you're welcome yeah Does you're she take credit welcome for that? bro yeah she's she like takes publishing my, yeah. yeah she takes plenty of credit bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah she does like, oh, this well i was standing next to her at, at whiskey jam yeah and to see that i thought that was that was such a special moment because i think we're all with, with, with uta we're all the same yeah. agency and that's how we all got there what was that what was that like last week? It was great, man. Yeah. It was really cool. That was an awesome show. I never played Whiskey Jam and Epic Night. But think about that but, from the start to where you're like, those are the you just kind of like skipped those steps. Or that you're like, we just went from the van to not to the top, but it was very meteoric. Yeah, we and did. you're like Right. A lot of that stuff that you just were like, we never we never did any of this. Right. We yeah, we we didn't we skipped quite a few things and uh or at least tried to you know, like just say, for example, like radio visits. Like we didn't yeah. spend, we didn't do radio tour, oh, good. Yeah. but we were able to like create a radio room on yeah. on our tour and invite everybody in and try to get to know everybody on a, in our own kind of our own uh, little way. But but yeah, like I'm getting to redo a lot of things that we either skipped or I didn't do right the first time, or yeah. um, or I want to do again, or I need to do again to reestablish who I am ten years later and reintroduce, yep. get to know some of these people a little better. So it's been uh. It's been cool and like like you know just doing the whiskey jam thing and now looking over there and seeing my wife, my yeah. friends, uh my creative buddies and then a lot of times my kids too like just sitting side stage like yeah. it's so much more special when you feel that support, you know, and that love and not that we didn't the first time, but it's definitely different when we're, you know, single dudes and we're yeah. just just us in the band and that's all we well, was had, there so. a was there cuz you played I mean how long's your set? 30 minutes? At Whiskey Jam, it was yeah. 30, yeah. So you do, I mean, you do, you do, and you're set now uh, as a solo artist, you did, you did nod to the, to the former days. Totally. And you do that. What's, what's that like going, singing an old hit? It's cool, man. Cause it's kind of like part of my story and I use it as an opportunity to, to kind of reflect and give yeah. the fans a few hits that I know they want to hear. Yeah. Um, and it's it's an important piece of who I am, and and you know, those songs are 
they're just massive and it helps connect the dots for the fans, you know, but it's been interesting now because I'll play cruise. Yeah. And a lot of times I'll say, like, I give it a moment to tell the story a little bit and just yeah. and show uh, my respect for all the people that are here that kind of like a nod to the, yeah, yeah, no yeah, doubt. Sure. And you got some kids in the front that don't even know it. Dude, I was going to ask you that. That was going to be because you go, wait, that's that guy. Right. That's crazy. And so you're still dude. watching the people connect the dots. You literally have people looking at their spouse or their friend and being like, oh, he's saying that. That's right. And then you have some people that don't know it at all. And then you have some people that already knew it. They're that are just jacked that I'm singing it. Yeah. And then I go right into five foot nine. So it yeah. really, then they're like, that's the guy I know from that song, but I yeah. didn't know he sang that song. And then you got the kids that are like jamming hard on five nine. Yeah. And so what I've seen is like a transition from like Cruz being like one of the bigger moments oh, yeah. of the show to yeah. like, now it's like a big moment, but then five foot nine hits and it's like yeah. a bigger moment. So you're just like, Whoa. I mean, yeah, sure. It was a little weird, but on the net, net on the, on the, it, it, it was a positive, but it was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. On, on the net, it's a positive.